Hey guys, how's it going? Markel here, back with another video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. With that being said, it is Friday, so I'm gonna answer questions that were left behind. I only have three questions today, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to answer those, and any other qu questions you guys have, please leave comments below. So let's start with the first question that I got in the order that I received them. So someone asked me a question regarding buying a property versus renting a property here in Colombia. Uh, have I thought about buying? Would I buy? If I would not, could I get, elaborate on that a little bit? Okay. So for me, it's the same way I talked about it with the video I did talking about bank accounts. <clears throat> uh, the peso here is too volatile. Uh, it's like that in most of these developing countries. So if you take, for example, when I moved here almost four years ago, the exchange rate was around 3,200 to one. Today, the exchange rate is around close to four to one. It's like 39 and a half to one. Let's just call it four to one. So I'm losing 800 pesos on every dollar. You know, if you do the math, had I bought a property four years ago when I moved here at 32, and now the peso is worth four to one instead of 32 to one. Um, I'm sorry, 3,200 to 4,000 to one, just make it easy. Uh, so I've lost 800 pesos on every dollar. That means I'm upside down, regardless of me paying for four years, I'm upside down in the house, I've lost money. But everybody's different the way they see it. Some people, they just want to buy a property, they are gonna live here, this is their home, and they are good with that. Me, I'm not interested in losing money, so. Uh, that's why I haven't looked at buying property here in this country or any of these other developing countries. I think the DR may be actually worse. If I remember correctly in the DR, it was around four, four and a half to one. And now it's almost 60 to one, like 56, 57. There's an even bigger loss if you got property in the DR that you bought recently. So, but that's me and my take. Uh, I know everybody's different the way they see it. Some people look at it as, you know, this is just gonna be my home. Uh, I know I'm losing, but this is my home. Cool, don't have a problem with that. But they're asking me for my opinion, and I'm giving you my honest opinion. Uh, the peso is just too volatile, too much of a loss, too much of a risk. Uh, if I buy a property and say 10 years from now, I wanna move out of here and go somewhere else, I'm stuck with this property, which is why a lot of these people who have these Airbnbs are stuck. So that's my take on renting versus owning i'm cool renting if you do the math uh from where i was when i first started paying rent here to where i am now it has gone in my favor rent has actually gone down <laughs> from where it was four years ago so renting is actually in my favor where buying i would be losing all right let's move to the next question which is uh some of you guys asked about me putting more day in the life videos on this channel. I actually have one I plan on doing either tomorrow or Sunday, uh, showing you guys that even though you're disabled, you know, not necessarily you gotta be in another country, but you can still get out and do things. You just gotta do them at your own speed. Don't be in a rush. Take your time. You don't feel right, sit down. You don't feel right, the car's close by, go lay down. Uh, but never feel like you can't do anything. You're disabled, you're not dead. So uh, as long as you're able to move, like you can move around in your house, you know, you, you have someone with you because I have my caregiver with me. And um, you know, you go out and like I said, if you feel funny at all, you don't feel right, sit down. There are most places around, unless you're going out in the middle of the woods, there's gonna be somewhere for you to sit down. Or, you know, go to an area where there's a huge park like here where I go to, like all these small towns, they have these huge parks. And in those parks, they usually have benches and all kinds of things going on. You know, just never feel like you're in a rush. I know sometimes when we're in the States, we always feel like we gotta go, 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 go. But when you're retired um, and you don't have all those worries going on, getting to a job or getting to a location at a specific time, take your time, relax, relax. Learn how to move at your pace not at everybody else's pace. And once you learn that, you, you'll start to enjoy your retirement more. Never feel like you're on somebody else's clock. You're on your own clock. So if you get there and you moving like a turtle, then that's what you do. <laughs> Don't ever feel like you gotta move at somebody else's pace. Uh, just move at your own pace and you'll be fine, all right? 
And then the last question that I got uh, is regarding the spinal videos, and I haven't had an opportunity to make one because I honestly have to do research on those. I really don't know a whole lot about spinal uh, injuries and how, you know, VA looks at them and what kind of particular things that they're looking for. That's something I got to do research on and do a video to where it could be understood by everyone and not just by some people. That's why I make most of these videos to make it understandable to everyone, to the masses, instead of just a couple of people. So honestly, I have to do research on spinal injuries because I'm not real familiar with spinal injuries. Most of the injuries are common in injuries that I'm aware of. There's some specific things uh, that come up that are easy to, to identify and talk about, but with spinal injuries, that's a whole different situation. Like I have nerve issues that are connected because of my lower back, but um, just talking about spinal injuries in general, yeah, I don't really know enough about those to talk to you honestly about it. And I'd rather tell you the truth than make up something, throw it out there, and then someone tries to go by that information and it's not even correct. So I'd rather do research and make sure what I'm telling you is accurate, okay? But other than that, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching as always. Any other questions uh, you have or you wanna leave comments, please leave them below. But until then, guys, I appreciate everybody watching.